Hey guys, good morning. Well, it's morning here around 10 a.m. I'm Andrew from 510 Books. Here's my store, my lovely store in Southern California. You should come visit me if you're in town. Look me up, 510 Books, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, and of course, on YouTube. But this video is gonna be about a book haul that I just picked up. So I filled my SUV with books, or boxes of books roughly 20 to 25 boxes the size of the boxes varies most of them are on the smaller side there are a few larger boxes and most of the items are books i saw a bunch of seinfeld tv box sets and a random cds here and there and this so you know some random stuff but this is somebody that, the reason why I'm excited about this, I might not seem excited, but I am inside. The reason why I'm excited about this pickup is because I have a website, 510books.com. Uh, I put it together so it's not that great, but it does function. And I do have a page for free book and media pickups. So it's a form that people can fill out with their information, contact information, the amount of boxes um, of books they have or loose items they have. Etc. Just information. Uh, they hit submit. I get that as an email, and I can contact them. So this is the first time that someone used that. I have not done any sort of SEO or anything for my website. Uh, so uh, it turns out that this was not somebody who Googled me or searched me online or on their phone or whatever. That they were told by someone else <clears throat> that I have that service. So regardless, though, that's where I'm heading. Is that page will ideally uh, be found and. You know, people will send me their information and I'll go pick up the books. So this came from, long story short, someone passed away. This was in someone's garage and I really helped them out by just picking it up, you know, real quickly, get it out of their hair, that kind of thing. So let me show you generally what I have here. Here's one box where I took this cool little jar, which I know nothing about. But yeah, so as you can see, there's also random Okay, back to it. There's a camera in here. Anybody know about cameras? Kodak Cameo Motor 110. That's in here. There's some CDs. Anyway, there's random stuff. Let me show you the rest of it. Here we go. So, my, back on my SUV, and I don't have a big SUV, uh, is packed. I had to... <laughs> smash these boxes down here and here just to get it closed yeah it's it's totally packed so i will be digging into these books i only have maybe three hours to get through them so i'll be pretty ruthless about it just by first glance most of them look to be fiction but there's probably some nonfiction in there apparently she collected biographies of famous people. She has a bunch of Princess Die stuff. There's a bunch of magazines in there about her. So we'll see. This might be an eBay kind of a situation, but I will let you know as I dig through it. Let's go. Here is the dent I have made so far. If you can see, cleared out this side pretty well. And working on this box over here. And here so far is what I have. So this little pile, this pile, this pile is all for for my store, for my bookstore, right here. Bookstore, sale the books, bookstore, or over here. This is a growing pile of, uh, what is it called? Princess Diana books. I am going to see how many I get together and then see if it's worth putting up on eBay. I have two Ivana Trump books. We'll see if there's any more that pop up. I don't know if it's worth it to do those two. We will see. This is all eBay. I've got three individual books and I've got this Food Network magazine lot going. And this, awesomely, is all at Amazon. This is all merchant fulfilled. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. So that's been great. And yeah, let's keep at it. Here we are, checking back in. Finishing up this box, which is ripped open. Then I've got this box to go, and that's it, as you can see. 
so I will share with you what I have found in just a moment once I finish. Boy, there are a lot of, what do you call it, scandalous kind of books? <laughs> like, a lot of stuff on the Kennedys, a lot of stuff on political figures, um, gossipy kind of things, also the royal family. So yeah, a lot of that stuff. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. I finished. And this table, this beautiful layout, kind of feels like it's a... Uh, I think I'm having a yard sale. But I thought I would lay things out nicely so everyone can see them. So everyone can see them. And show you what I got. So this is after going through everything, all 20, 25 boxes. Um, I feel like did pretty well because those three boxes down there are all stuff for my store which will be open in a couple days although those aren't going to go in in this week's sale but uh those will be back stock now let's get over here see what we got i ended up finding four books that i'm going to have listed on amazon or sorry on ebay one of them is signed this susan lucci one is signed and over here are all the books i'm going to list hopefully today the latest by tomorrow <laughs> but the plan is to list them today uh, on amazon for fulfilled by merchant merchant fulfilled fbm etc and i counted them now i've forgotten there are 16 so that is pretty good there's a couple really good ones in there as well some higher price stuff nothing crazy but some decent good or some uh higher profit books for sure so i was pleasantly surprised that i found that many that i'll be able to list on amazon this is the stack of princess diana books which grew to quite a substantial amount including <coughs> this star magazine from 1997 and this globe magazine from 1997 as well i didn't look those up individually <clears throat> but I figure that with all these books and those star <clears throat> magazines would be a good amount of money. So we got one, two, three, 13 books <clears throat> and three magazines. So there's these two magazines and there's another one here as well. So that is quite a lot. <laughs> that is quite a good amount and that is quite a e an eBay lot. Not sure what I'll price it at, but when I get around to listing it, probably this week while I'm in the store... Uh, I will price that out and see what that can go for. I ended up only finding this one, which is Ivanka Trump, the daughter of Ivana Trump. So I might not do those or um, list those on eBay. We will see, but I'm definitely going to list these. <clears throat> Cliff Notes, there's 14 of them. They don't go for great money, but they still go for some money. These are all newspapers about 9-11. So there's USA Today, Los Angeles Times. <clears throat> Daily News, New York Times, Los Angeles Times. So what is that, five? So I will put those up. Uh, I'll do a little research first just to make sure that it's worth it, but I assume it is because there's five of them. I also have two of these very old magazine newspapers, rather, that have John Travolta on the cover. Modern People, which is from 1976 and the star from 1978. So <clears throat> I'll see what I can get for those. I have 17 <clears throat> Oprah magazines. I'll list those for around 30 bucks plus shipping. Uh, oh, there's more magazines over here, Food Network. <clears throat> and then this one is interesting. These were, these three, All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital are all scrapbooks. And this one's, this white one's about the greatest wedding moments from all my children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. So I figure that's a good lot as well. I found these random items. Bookends, which are pretty cool, which I always need. This camera and this vase. So we'll see what I do with those. And these all here <clears throat> are just books. To give an example of the books I pulled out. <clears throat> a sampling for my store. Some vintage paperbacks. This one is just really pretty here about Tuscany. 
some beautiful photos in there. We'll see. This is an old school Daniel Boone kids book. Remember Thomas Guides? This is California Thomas Guide. I actually had someone ask me if I had any because I do have some maps in the store. This is, let's see if you see it over here, Walt Disney Epcot. Much older book. And that is more maps <laughs> of uh, Italy. And here's a little sampling of the kind of stuff that I pulled for my local sale. Stuff that I'm not familiar with, <clears throat> like authors I'm familiar with, topics I'm familiar with, but some stuff that uh, I'm not sure about. I After I scan it on Amazon, I'll see what the how often it's selling, how popular it is, <clears throat> and some of those I'll pull off to the side too. Let me just come in out of the sun because it's hot and doesn't look so good <clears throat> on video. So a couple things. If you want to do this type of thing, i.e. do book pickups, understand that unless you figure out a way to consistently get it coming in, uh, it can be kind of erratic, even with myself having a store like this. However, it's different for me because I, ha because I do have a store, people actually bring me stuff either to try to uh, sell to me or to just donate. So that is different, of course. But even if you don't have a store, which most people don't, and you're just posting ads and telling people and that you'll pick up their stuff for free. Unless you're really pushing hard about it, um, you know, it's going to dry up. It's not going to be consistent. So something to keep in mind, like anything else, you got to really work at it. Number two, it's hard work. If you're doing CDs or if you're doing DVDs or records, though, are heavy as well. But books, of course, are big and heavy. So if you're going to pick up a couple boxes, <clears throat> not that much that big a deal but if you're picking up like i did 15 or 20 or 30 or more uh even if you have the right vehicle for that or you can fit enough in your vehicle or have a truck etc van it's going to be hard work and of course you're going to have to deal with all the books that you can't sell and if you are only selling online there's going to be a heck of a lot more books that you can't do anything with some of them, of course, you can spread around, um, donate some to thrift stores, donate uh, to, or give some to little free libraries, some that would make sense to schools, but that's extra work. <clears throat> um, so just be aware of that as well when you're dealing with picking up a lot of books that <laughs> you'd be surprised how many, how much room books fit or fill up and then you're putting in your, in your, if you just have a, um, a normal garbage, you know, can at home, it's going to fill up pretty quick. So I happen to have access to a dumpster um, on the property. There's two dumpsters actually. And there's just a lot of books that there's not demand for in my store and even very little demand online. And it just doesn't make sense. So I don't have the room, <clears throat> so I got to get rid of them. And uh, someone's got to do it. So those are just a couple things to keep in mind. Not, oh, and a third thing as well, not every single pickup uh, book pickup or book and media pickup is going to be successful, <clears throat> i.e. profitable. Some of them, you're not going to find very many, if any, items you can sell on Amazon or eBay. It's just going to happen. But I don't recommend turning those down because you never know uh, which person that you pick up from or people you pick up from who can tell somebody else. Uh, the person that I picked up from today, asked for a card, which I was going to give to them anyway. And they said, yeah, can I have your card to uh, let someone else know? We'll see if that ever happens. Who knows? But if you have cards, that's great as well. Something to keep in mind. <clears throat> you know, 20 bucks, get a couple hundred cards. Excuse me. <clears throat> My throat is going out of me. Um, hand those cards out as well. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can just be your name, phone number, email, if you have a website, <clears throat> whatever it is. If you have a Facebook page. Just saying, you know, uh, free book, free book and media pickup service, or I pick up your books. Would love to take your books off your hands. Clean out service, whatever you want, however you want to phrase it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so give that to them, and you never know, word can spread. Unless, of course, you can't handle the pickup if it's too many. Maybe you can go multiple times if you don't have a warehouse space. Recommend a storage space if you have a, a garage, have the space to do that. Great, but if not, a uh, storage unit doesn't cost too much. Maybe, depending on where you live, of course, you could probably get it for less than 100 bucks, less than 200 bucks for a decent size one. <clears throat> so you can do your sorting there. Anyway, I'm going kind of going off the rails <laughs> a little bit, but those are things to consider as well. So for me, this was successful. 16 books for Amazon, four for eBay, about 
half a dozen or so lots and three boxes excuse me <clears throat> of books for my local sale and I found some stuff personal stuff not that much a couple of, of items uh, between myself and the family so that's good and also I haven't even gone through there's some CDs and there's <clears throat> let me show you there's some CDs not that many I got some DVDs as well including all these Seinfelds what's this uh, the Larry Sanders show I'm not sure if that's good so yeah a few more things to go through and this Seinfeld, if I don't already have all of them on my shelf, <clears throat> I'll put them out. See right there, Seinfelds? I'll probably put out some of those that I just got. All right, guys, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I'm going to have to cut it short. Well, it's not that short, but my throat's going out. <clears throat> Drink some water. Sorry about being annoying but uh, <laughs> about my throat, but definitely subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments or questions below. I make videos that have to do with uh, reselling books and media in my store and on Amazon and eBay. So I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Take care.